Hello, everyone. It's James Breedwell, the Go, Go, Go guy. I want to first start off and say thank you for stopping in to my channel. To say the least, this has been a rough, rough five or six days in the hospital. They continue to say they're going to release me every day, but they don't. But I just want to get better. I'm going to go over how it all started right now. And if it wasn't for a doctor, um, Dr. Patrick Wolf at um, St. Thomas, I would probably be gone. So the morning that I went to see Dr. Wolf for my hernia, because some had said I had a hernia and I also had a cirrhosis of the liver, which just blew me away. That was almost 15 days ago, maybe 20, I forget how long. So I had to set up an appointment to go see specialists. And basically what's going on is that Summit wouldn't release my records I would add to wait. It, well, it took five days to get my records released. And it was this lady that really helped me out. I appreciate her so much. So I got my records and listened to me very carefully. If you ever go to the ER or you ever go uh, to have major surgery or whatever, ask for your records before you leave the hospital. And then I don't think you'll have this problem that I had. But I asked for my records and they wouldn't give them to me, so I had to wait five days. Finally got my records and I had to schedule my appointment for my hernia doctor. And November 8th, also I had to schedule my doctor for um, cirrhosis of the liver specialist. So it took another five days to go to the doctor. So finally we we're at the doctor, me and my brother Ron, which I love dearly. Thank you, Ron. And um, the doctor came in and says, I have bad news for you. He said, you don't have a hernia, which by the way, I do have a hernia because they checked it in the ER. They found I do have a hernia. So he said, what you have is you have fluid coming from your liver and it's surrounding you and it's bloating you. And that's why I felt like I had two bowling balls in my belly. And so basically what's going on is that that fluid is infectious. They found that out. He says, you cannot wait for a specialist on November 8th. You might not be here. He advised me to go straight from his, his door, go down to the ER and get admitted and tell them to do tests right away. And that's what we did. We went right down there. He said that my liver is dying. So I get to the ER, and of course I'm an emotional wreck, but God's got this, no fear, no worry. And I'll tell you what, my pastor called and left a message with Ron because I was in the back. And I got to hear him pray over me. I love you, Pastor Greg. Your whole family meets the world. And um, so anyway, they took me back. They did a CAT scan on me and they came back and said, your liver's dying. 
then they had three specialists come in. The liver specialist. And they were saying, my liver's dying too. And they to put a plan of attack together. They told me they're going to... Anyway, they, they did blood work. And they found again, the liver is dying. So then what happened is I went and they moved me to another room. They just started me on fluids and all that. And then another specialist came in and said, we have another emergency. You have a blood clot in your liver. And I was like, oh, okay. What do we do? So they said, the first thing that we're going to do, we have to do it tomorrow, is we're going to get this fluid off of you. We're going to start you on IVs and also um, medicine to break up the uh, blood clot. And I don't know if you know it or not, but a blood clot can kill you in a heartbeat. So with that said... They got me a room, started on everything they said they were going to do. The next day, I went downstairs to get the fluid off. They took nine pounds of fluid off of me. That's how much fluid of infection was around me. I got back up, got back up to the room, very sick. Felt better than I had ever had in a long time. But that night turned into another terrible night. Pain, 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 pain. I've never asked for pain medicine. Even when I was going through it at that apartment, never asked for any pain medicine. But it felt like a wrecking ball hitting in my back. And so I, I cried out for pain medicine. I have been closer to the Lord than I ever have. Oh, by the way, the last thing the specialist said, if you died tonight, would you like to be resuscitated? And I looked at him and I said, let me say this. If I have no breath in me, then I am gone. And I'm with my sweet Jesus I don't want to come back to this world. So that's a no. I have been a witness like you wouldn't believe. You see, I have a walker in front of that walker. Many of you know that says, go, go, go. Tell the world about Jesus. I have my hat. I have my prayer cards. God put me here for a reason. And everyone, everyone knows. From nurses to the cleaning people, to the doctors, that I am born again. I've shared the gospel so many times. So God's put me in here for a reason. I believe that's that reason. So they came in today and they said that the blockage of the blood clog is not in my main artery. It is in another vein or something that is coming out of the liver, which is a good thing. They're breaking it up, and hopefully it'll be going away. I asked them how long I've had it because I've been sick before, and they said, we can't tell you that because we don't know. So that's about the blood clot. The fluids will continue to go, but they're giving me medicine to fight the fluids. All in all, I'm feeling really good about everything. Continue praying for me. Also, would you lift up Jessica Wilde? She is going through something that nobody ever wants to go through with the family. So please lift her up. The other thing is that I have set up a PayPal account, a Venmo account, 
um, a GoFundMe account and a Cash App. If anyone wants to help me out with my journey on expenses, I would totally appreciate it if the Lord leads you that way. I pray that I'll be back in church soon. I miss the church so much. But this journey is a journey that God has held me in his arms. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but whatever happens, happens for a reason. So that's the update. I think I've said everything. I love you. I appreciate you. And God bless you. And let's go, go, go. Tell the world about Jesus. God bless.